Sorry, I was meditating. I did not realize that you showed up already. How are you? Good. Well, this is Mike's library, so thank you so much for showing up for this appointment. Um, yeah, the reason why I have my eyes closed is because I always like to meditate before I have a library appointment with somebody new. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Well, if I seem kind of just know that I'm still in the zone of my meditation, but I think that it will heighten your own experience, you know? Exactly. Okay, so if you look around, you'll see that we don't have a lot of technology. Um, of course, we live in an age where technology is, you know, extremely advanced. Smartphones, iPads, notebooks, all of that. But here at this library, we like to keep things more traditional, you know? So I'm going to take down your information, but I'm not going to type it in. I'm actually going to write it down in our log. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we, um, we feel that if we stick to the principles that have kept this library in business for so long that it won't steer us wrong. Why, you know, why re redo the wheel or whatever the saying is, <laughs> but why change things? We can just keep it how it is and, you know, we understand that technology is important and it's not like nothing in our library is technical, but our login system, we log it and we still have the, um, you know, the drawers that you open for the library entries to find a book instead of typing it in. Yeah, exactly. Instead of typing it in. Um, again, we just like to keep things pretty nostalgic, you know, and traditional. So, okay. All right. So, let me get your information first. And by the way, here at this library, everything must be done in pianissimo. It must be quiet and even speaking. No soft talking. It can only be whispering. And when you're dealing with your books, just be mindful of people around you. No slamming the books. No aggressive opening the books or ripping the pages open. Just take your time. We want to really um, promote a peaceful and serene atmosphere. Okay? Yeah. Alright. information.
state. Okay. And zip code. Okay, so I think I actually no, that might have been somebody else. Okay, sorry, I was thinking about something else. Um, but for you, what was your reason for coming in today in terms of our services, what you wanted us to offer you?
understand what is being explained and can use it in pretty much any production. Okay, yes. So, this book, it teaches the theory and the practice of cinematography. Okay, so I'm going to take you through a couple things just to give you an idea and then you can let me know if yes, you would like to check this book out and use it for your research or no, you would like to find a different book to explore. Okay, alright. So... the second edition. So, the categories that are in this book include writing and motion, shooting methods, visual
chapters. It has 21 chapters, so I'm not going to read all of those, but let me just give you a couple. Okay. Sound commandments, application. 
relations, set etiquette, the business of showbiz, and lastly, that's a wrap. <laughs> so, this book basically um, it gives you the knowledge and the blueprint for recording sound in the field. Okay, so when you're recording away from home, well, really anywhere, but basically in the field, how to get clean professional sound. Yeah. So here's one thing I want you to know. Sound is not important to a production. It's vital to a production. Okay? So it's not just important. It's vital. It's essential. You can have a beautiful looking video. Great cinematography. But if the sound is shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Sound is bad. Hopefully, my boss didn't hear me. But if the sound is bad, then it's gonna make the production terrible. Okay? Yeah, that's another thing. We're not supposed to cuss here. Now, I cuss a lot in real life. <laughs> real life outside of this library. But in the library, just to respect everyone. But I cuss all the time. That's another story. Alright. So, one more thing. Location sound is the process of gathering sound for a production in the field. Yeah, exactly. That was that's what makes it different, right? Exactly. Okay. subject matter, but bad audio will pull the audience out of the story or make it difficult to focus on the subject matter. Listen, and I'm sure you can attest to this as well, but so often I've seen different productions where the visual and the story, hey, it's great, but the audio is so bad and it just pulled me out of the moment. So you have to have good audio to help complement the story and not restrict it from its full potential. You know? Right, exactly, yeah. You're getting it, yeah? Right. So, um, one more thing. It's impossible to make poor sound better in post. You cannot correct the sound. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You can correct the sound, but you cannot improve it. If it sounds bad on the set, it will sound bad in post. So, the sound mixer must deliver the best sound from the set. Okay. Last thing from this book. Capture consistent and intelligible audio. That's the goal. Right. Oh, let's see. Different microphones. Yeah, this book. This is such a great book. That I really think that you should consider checking this out too. So, what are your thoughts? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Good.
missing here? It has so many different products for cinematographers. Film entertainment. Surveillance. Computers.
some people say perineum, but perineum, perineum, whatever, tomato, tomato, I guess, but it's basically that space in between the genitalia, yeah, exactly, so, to be crass for a second, it's basically for males, it's behind the balls to the, to the sphincter, to the anus, and for, fem for females, it's behind, you know, the space right by the, the vagina, back to the anus, or the sphincter, yeah, that space there, that's the perineum, or the perineum, and basically, breathing down to the pelvic floor can allow you to feel so much more centered, and to feel grounded, yeah, it's a, it's an awesome way to, um, meditate, and to bring peace, and, and stillness to your mind, and to your body, so that you can be focused, and you can deny the threat of anxiety, and, um, overwhelming emotions, right, yeah, exactly, yeah. So, this book has so much goodness, oh my gosh, um, here's something, in love, on a higher plane, the inner one moves, merges into the other, and there's a feeling of oneness.
again, thank you so much. And I really look forward to our next meeting. And I will continue to just share with you all of our resources so that you can, you know, gain all the knowledge that is necessary to continue growing in your crafts. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. All right. Take care.